the business has gotten more formed, if you will, around how I wanted to build it and things have gotten clearer. And I, and I found somebody who I would think of as the who, and also as an integrator, I realized like it's, it's, I've started referring to it as, as almost like a spiritual practice, right? Like, because you learn things about yourself that if you're paying attention and you realize like, it's, it's your fault, right? Like this is the, the reason this is not working is because you are doing something that's not aligned with what you're at least expressing as your goals. Now, it may be that you need to change the goals. Mm -hmm. Like maybe you don't want that thing that you thought that's totally fine. But if you do want that thing, because I used to say all the time to my wife, Corey, I used to say like, I could pull the plug on all this and just do, you know, 10 speaking engagements a year. And I used to call it the like retreat to the, um, what I used to call it, like the, the, the tree house or the yurt, you know, like I, like, I'm just going to go here and by myself, I'll have one. Actually, I won't even have an executive assistant. I will handle all my speaking. I'll just speak. I'll do it 10 times a year. That's fine. And I would go to that little retreat, the little tree house by myself for like an hour and be like, yeah, but I have a different goal. Like, I really want this other thing, but I kept bumping up against, bumping my head against the wall. And so I started realizing like, wait, you know, finding somebody, I tried that. And I was like, oh, I tried that. It didn't work. That was a retreat to the tree house. Right. And then I, I came back and I was like, well, okay, maybe you need to try again. Right. What did you do wrong in that what did I do wrong? Maybe it was 95% their fault. It was never, yeah. but maybe it was. The only, the only thing I could focus on was the 5% that was mine, but it was normally the inverse, just to be clear. So I found that really helpful to start thinking. Like, I'll, I'll give you an example. A business coach I have told me one day, because I was having this problem. My problem was I had too many ideas. So the team would start working on an idea on Friday. And on Monday, I would call and change the idea. And they're like, you can never get anything done. And, and I was like, I don't understand. And I would even say to, I'd even say, this is just a brainstorm, right? And, and I realized, and this coach said to me, Carl, do you realize there are people who don't like to brainstorm? Like they just want to build. And I was literally like, what? I didn't know that was possible. And he went, he went a little further. He said, do you realize that sometimes you walk into a meeting with this group of people, your team, and if you just walk in and say green, and you leave, do you realize there's a whole thing that goes on? What did he mean by that? Does he want to change the green? Should we make something else green? Like there's a whole thing. And so I love this idea of like, look, if, if your goal is to grow freedom, income, impact, revenue, whatever the grow part is, realize you don't, that doesn't, mean you have to grind and it has to be 60 hours a week and you have to hate it. That you can employ some of these things we've talked about here, especially finding a person who could be the opposite side of the rocket fuel as you. Yeah. And, and then when that doesn't work, because it won't always, like when you hit bumps in the road, be aware that you're going to hit them. And when you hit them, own them and say, okay, what do I need to do differently to make this work? And then crazy things happen. Like I've had the same experience. Like the business is way, this will be our, anyway, it's, and it's all because it's all because I think we finally realized like there's rocket fuel. It takes two things to happen and it doesn't, my business is way better now. My life is way better now. And we're growing like that's, that seems like that's illegal. Hey, it's Carl here. I thought I'd just take a second after you watch that clip with Michael and I to tell you about something that I think is amazing. And I know I'm biased, but we've built this thing over at the Society of Advice. We call it the membership. And I want to be super clear about what it is. I don't know about you, but there are very few times on my calendar that are dedicated times to think about the impact I make on the world, right? To think about the impact I want my work to make, to take a step back or up, right? And think about the business because I'm so busy working in the business. 
Well, that's what we built the membership for. We meet once a month, 90 minutes. The key here is to dedicate it in your calendar. We already know the dates for months in advance, right? You put it in your calendar, you come, all distractions off, right? Camera on. And what you're gonna do is listen to a private conversation that you could hear nowhere else, nowhere else between me and some super impactful person that I invite. Sometimes you'll know them. They're like world famous authors. Other times you'll have never heard of them, but I promise you they will change, they will knock your socks off, right? Like super impactful. So you come for 90 minutes, distractions off, camera on, ready to listen, ready to participate in this amazing chat with all the other advisors that are there. And guess what will happen to you? I'm telling you what will happen because I've seen it happen over and over and over. An insight, right? An idea. And we all know like one idea can change your life. That's what we're after. It's an idea factory over at the Society of Advice membership program. Guess what? I have an idea for you. Try it out. I want to make it easy on you. Click the link and check it out. It's a seven-day free trial of my membership program to see if you like it because I think you will. And let me know. Thanks, my friend.